don't forget to put your calendar in your. Yeah, I, I might be right. But I got you going. Um. You hold this one. Yes. Ted. I've got to get papers real quick too. Um. I forgot to grab them out of my drawer. That has to go to R and R with you. You remember what I told you yesterday, don't Say you? No. Huh? Yes or no? <laughs> you get out of here. You go home and take care of that beautiful little boy. Not, not tight, hmm? It's not as tight though. Hmm? It's not as tight. Yeah, that's the reason I couldn't get into it. Okay, I'm going to set this here so I can go get my paperwork. Are you ready? I wish you all the luck in the world. Come on. They're ready for you. Fire door. Now, when you get down that, uh, there, you hand this to the officer, OK? It's mine. That's yours to keep. This goes. To the officer up there. With this, yes. All right. Thank you, Granny. Uh huh. Good All luck. Right. You too. Good luck. Oh, you're going to ask me about Granny. When I came to this facility, of course, I've carried that name for almost 10 years now because uh, some of the gentlemen couldn't remember my name and there were several officers with the same name, sound D name. So they gave me the name of Granny. And the kids have called me Granny ever since I came to this unit. From R&R. &R. Yes, ma'am. So I was just wondering if you could tell me a little bit about the perception about what that's like for the new kids coming in, how other kids uh, perceive them, and what sort of some of that, not this orientation, but the actual orientation among their peers, what's that like? Well, I think that the new ones are kind of scared because they, they're, they don't really know what they're, they're facing. And of course, the ones that are here, they do know, but they're anxious to meet new ones to see where they've come from. Do you think there's some sort of, it would seem that some of them, it's almost uh, a little bit of pride. They know the ropes. And yes, so yes. Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> well, to be very truthful with you, I just came into this unit today to uh, be in this unit. Uh, I haven't been around them that much when new ones have come in, uh, but I have been around other offenders when the new ones came in. So uh, it's kind of scary, but they make them welcome, and they want to see if they know the ropes, you might say. And usually there are uh, offenders that kind of uh, take them under their wing to show them and tell them what to do. And uh, how about the opposite? Have you had much experience or contact with some kids that are transferring out from the juvenile wing into the adult system or other systems? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. So uh, what you, your impressions of I think that when they come to this unit, they have never been in another facility or out in general population. 
and it's scary for them because they really don't have any idea what General Pop is and what they're going to meet, who they're going to meet and uh, the different crimes that uh, they're going to find out what the real, what real prison uh, life is like. Well, there's a lot going out on General Pop. Uh, I mean, you're in prison, you've got uh, a lot of tattoo artists, you've got people that do uh, things that they're not supposed to do. Uh, gangs, getting involved in gangs, uh, which is not a good thing. Of course, that's my opinion. Uh, it's not a good thing, but they want to belong. They want to belong, be, be protected. Would you, would you say that's probably the number one reason they gravitate towards this first sense Yes, of yes, yes. Because they hear, they hear uh, rumors of what it, uh, goes on in prison, and I think they do that to, for protection. Back. All right, boys, I need you to strip. Ready? Hands out in front of you, thumbs down. Okay, 
woods, step down, turn that way, and walk up the bank. Behave up there, Wood. DLC. Okay. Not yet. Uh, give me your DLC, please. 1A, 145. Alright. How's the step? <laughs> 